and we have two awardees here in studio and they are wearing uh, their civilian order, the civilian division, division uh, that they received yesterday from His Excellency. The President, let me introduce uh, at this time musician Ben Githai and blogger Robert Alai. Welcome to the program, both of you. Asante Thank sana. You. Asante sana. Congratulations. Each of you received a head of state commendation yesterday. Uh, let me start with you, Githai. What does this award mean to you? Uh, to me, uh, I think uh, as a Christian, I have to go back to the Bible and say that uh, there was a time when kings used to honor people who used to be honorable, not only honorable, but royal. And uh, there was a case of a guy who was called Moridekai. And uh, one day, a king dreamt about him, and in the morning, he called him because he remembered a day when he saved him from people who wanted to kill him. Do you see yourself in a similar circumstance? Now, <laughs> I see myself in a similar circumstance because Moridekai was a guy who was not honorable to so many people because he was a gay man. And I remember there were so many criticism of people who said, I, I, I don't deserve such an, an honor. So it, it, I feel proud and I feel actually the president has dreamt of a person who contributed so much in his re-election and I feel I deserve it and it is for me to take. Okay, Robert, same question to you. What does that award mean to you? I think it, uh, it recognizes the unique things which are or unique talents, skills or, or contribution I'm making to the country called Kenya. I think for the head of state to, to give me this award, despite sometimes even agreeing, most of the time even disagreeing with what he does or, or says, it, it's, a, it's a great honor for me. I think that's the, the key part. Uh, to both of you, were you surprised by the, the fact that your names appeared when that list came out on the 12th of uh, December? And wha first of all, were you surprised that your names were there? And secondly, were you surprised by the reaction from the public? Gizai, let me come to you for that. Two surprises, did that happen to you? Well both were surprises to me because I, I felt I, I normally see those honors on TV being given to other people and I never thought that the president will one day recognize me. But uh, what surprised me more is the reaction of the people because I, to me I, I thought they would be happy for me as a musician, and uh, they have seen that, oh, so even our president can recognize musicians. I, thought, I, felt, I felt they should uh, uh, embrace what the president has done for me rather than criticize it. So it was a big surprise that people can criticize those who have been honored by the president. You felt their reaction, the public's reaction was unfair? It was unfair. And uh, I, 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 I was not supposed to be treated like that, but uh, because I, ha I, I, I'm, I'm a person who fear the Lord, and I'm a person who pray, and I'm a person who is bold uh, enough and uh, who has uh, audacity to face su su such challenges, I didn't take it negatively because I, I, I know people must criticize what is good. Alai, I want to talk about a tweet you posted uh, yesterday. You tweeted, uh, and of course you had that award in the picture. Say what you have to say now or, or forever. forever hold your peace. Or forever hold. <laughs> so it's not yes. a fake account. That's, uh, that's actually, yes, uh, yes. it's not citizen's commendation. <laughs> no. It's head of state commendation. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, talk a bit about that tweet. I, I, th I, th I think what I said is that uh, the president is only one in this country now. You know, forget about the, uh, the, the, the other presidents. We have the Law Society of Kenya, the People's President, and others. And the unique thing which uh, comes with the presidency is that he had the decision to make. Uh, whatever the committee decided, we were not even aware that we were being considered for these awards. We were just seeing our name in a gazette notice somewhere. And people were sending us screenshots. And they wondered, how did we get in this list? Was no one had whispered to you no that if you do this, you'll get this no or nobody, anything of the sort? Nobody. In fact, we even if, you know, if supporting the president uh, during the elections was anything, people say that is the reason why I was awarded it. In fact, we thought that even during the elections, we were not given an ear or so. So we thought left out. 
and and when he saw our names in the world, he said, "Oh, Kumbe was thinking about us." You know, it was a very unique thing for him to to consider us. Uh, and uh, what's with the explanation? You and, and and you see the common man, Kamoto, uh, the Giberi man. Mm. You know, <laughs> people. I don't know why people make so much noise about the guy. You know, and and uh, him having done nothing. For him to come to the line with the Giberi, the most common, the most basic of Kenyan food. You feel that mm. was an achievement? It was not an achievement. It was inspiring, you know, to see the common struggle of the common man. It was not the Kamoto who was awarded. You know, like the president explained yesterday, mm. it is the unique traits mm. he had in himself. Mm -hmm. You know, going to the line, you know, remembering that this thing might take longer. He was uh, thinking ahead. This thing might take longer. I might get there maybe past lunchtime. So let me carry my lunch. So, so in that ceremony, which of course we were not able to get footage of, the president actually addressed those who had said that, for example, someone like Giberiman does not deserve, that it, it was a fluke, it was luck, lucky that he was on the line at the time when... No, I, I think what the, the president explained is that you should not feel, you should not uh, be uh, feel that you didn't deserve this, but you got this. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the committee checked all through and all through and, and, and realized that you did make unique contributions in every field you are in. Some of them were in the military uh, for the military awards, some of them in the, the civilian awards, some of the even the civilians, you know, some of them were just simple cooks, you know, simple support staff. Mm -hmm. There are things they did, you know, for, for this nation to move and you might not realize it. Not the people you see in the media every day make a contribution to this country. Not, no, 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 not people get praised. You remember the story of Rosa Parks and, and refusing to stand up from, from a seat. Some people <laughs> might say that, you know, refusing to stand up from a bus seat is not a, such an achievement. But, you know, you know, we still recognize her up to now. Okay. I think, yeah. I am we, there's some graphics that I wanted to play. I don't know if we uh, have them. Uh, if we're able to, the National Honors Act 2014 that defines uh, who, is, who should merit the conferment of a national honor. Maybe I can read it as we pull them up for you. It says that a person who exhibited or exhibits exemplary qualities, actions, or achievements of heroism, sacrifice, bravery, patriotism, or leadership for the defense benefit or betterment of the country or a county. Let's go to the second one now. That the next one is a person who has made an exemplary contribution to the country or a county in economic, social, uh, scientific, academic, public administration, governance, sports, journalism, business, security, or other fields. And the last one is uh, in regards to a state officer or a public officer who has made an exemplary contribution to the betterment of the national or county government, the executive, the judiciary, the legislature, an independent commission, or an independent office. And the last one is a person who has otherwise brought honor, glory, or pride to the republic. Let me pose this question to the both of you. The people that, they are, that this National Honors Act refers to are those who brought glory to uh, a government, a country, a county. Your critics say that you brought glory to a political party and that is what they base their argument on. How would you respond to them? Then let me start with They say that you, what you did was not quote-unquote for Kenya. It was for Jubilee. It was for uh, a candidate who was campaigning. Yes, he was president, but he was still campaigning. What would you say in, uh, in response? Okay. Um, this is my response. Those people who are criticizing, uh, they don't know that in the past, so many musicians have been honored and they were not involved anywhere in politics. There is Kamaro, there is Eric Wainaina, there is Esther Wahome. Even before I was involved in a turn or tenor song, I have been very, very consistent in gospel music social music that have been honored in other, I, 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 in other, by other institutions like Groove Awards, Kisima Awards. And even if I was not involved in Jubilee politics, I still deserved to be honored because of, ho of what I have done in, I, in our society through music. So when you speak of those people who have brought honor and pride I am one of them, even without music. Uh, that one aside, uh, Kenya is a democratic country. It is not a theocratic uh, kind of government, whereby you, you have to vote and to take 
side politically and in that you bring peace when you vote and when you follow the due process of uh, uh, political issues through voting. And when I sided with the Jubilee democratically and I campaigned for them and it won, what we did is that by Jubilee winning and people accepting that Gidai contributed to that, uh, to that win, mm -hmm. I, I'm a hero by that alone. You so yeah. I deserve it even politically. You, you started this discussion by saying that you're a Christian and that um, and used the example of the Bible, Mordecai, and now he was awarded by the king. As a Christian, how do you feel about the fact that some of your fans mm -hmm. did not support your political decision and you then put them in a tight spot because they love your music but they don't, they are now a bit confused uh, whether you're, you're gospel or whether you now also are singing the tunes of a leader. What do you say to them? Because I'm sure you got some feedback on that. Let me tell you one thing. Uh, since last year up to now, I have uh, increased my fan base. Not decreased? Not decreased. And I uh, can tell you uh, for a fact, the measure of whether I have decreased or increased my fan base today, uh, in the past we used to measure it by the number of CDs that you have sold. Today, it is by, by, by the money you, have, you are receiving from Skiza and uh, those people who are f following you uh, on YouTube and uh, on those platforms, you just go and confirm. Even from Safaricom and uh, th those okay. big companies who have been paying us, so what, uh, how much money I was earning before and uh, uh, how much money I'm earning today and those people who are following me. And uh, to add to, uh, to that, yes. as a Christian, I said we are not a theocratic government, we are a democratic government. I have a right to support who I want. Okay. I have my own aspirations uh -huh. and inspirations, yes. and I go by them without fearing that I'm doing the wrong thing. So I do so it so so boldly with imagine the all the courageousness. Okay, uh, and I need to come to Robert. Uh, imagine your fan is here in studio, mm. they love your music, but they were disappointed in the way you overtly campaigned for one candidate, what would you tell them? I don't think you'd tell them that you have a right, what, what, which you do, and the Constitution gives you that is right. Is that for me? Yes, that's for you. What would you tell them? Your fan is here, they say, uh, Ben Gidai, I've followed you for many years, mm -hmm. but last year I was uncomfortable listening to your music because it seems you shifted from uh, you know, a purely gospel artist to one who now is a party campaigner. Okay. Uh, what would you tell that person? One thing, and I will say it boldly here, is that I didn't lose any fan. And those people who are criticizing me were never my fans. That is for a fact. Have you, okay. <laughs> ha, uh, if you can prove okay, that. I'm coming to that. <laughs> okay. But if a, 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 a somebody who is my fan for so many years, uh, and uh, he feels that he is now uncomfortable because I supported uh, Jubilee, this is my answer. I have a right, and I don't mind losing somebody when I'm working wholeheartedly for, for what I believe in. Robert, let me come to you and get your response. You yes. are known for many years as a fierce critic of the government, of those in power in public office. Uh, now, with an award like this, there are those who begin to say Robert is not the same that he used to be. He's not the defender of public interest. Uh, he now is, you know, it's hard to keep him accountable because of some of the things that have happened over the last couple of, uh, of months. How would you respond to those who would say that? I think what I've been known uh, with which has changed now is that I was previously supporting uh, Raila Odinga. And I'm now supporting um, Uhuru Kenyatta. And, and uh, that comes in with uh, its own, you know, losses. Uh, like the, the, the previous supporters are now my, my critics. But I don't think that I've, 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 I've criticized the government solely. Because there are instances, uh, you remember in, in, in 2013, even Raila was not very comfortable with what I was telling him about some of the nomination practices he was seeing, in, in especially in the Anza area. 
So, so you cannot say that I've only been supporting uh, this in the government, but people have been thinking so. And even now, you know, I've, I've, I've told the president that you know I support you, I support your, your re-election because I think that you have a chance to to to, to at least uh, further your agenda for the nation and uh, also help you uh, if there's a project you you didn't compl uh, accomplish. I think it's only fair for the sake of this country to let the president finish the term. It is very hard to remove a sitting and especially a young president as we have now uh, from office. You are going to spend so much energy because he's young. He has the time and he has the energy and he has the resources. He has uh, the time. Uh, uh, it, it, you are going to spend a lot of time to remove him. So uh, I think I deserve this because, you know, I've made my exemplary contribution. It's not about the glory of the nation. It's, it's about the unique contributions you have made to this country to make it better uh, in whatever field you are in. Uh, some of us started blogging when we went to events or we went to, to, to areas we wanted to cover and you ask that, you, you say you're a blogger. We don't know what a blogger is and you're being chased, but now you have, you know, so many bloggers in this country. You call an award, more than 20,000 bloggers turn up for an award. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy, like everybody wants to be a blogger now. Everybody <laughs> who has a Facebook or a Twitter account <laughs> wants to be a blogger. They don't know how to make uh, the unique contributions you are trying to make and also to be consistent. The only thing you have to consistently think of is the common man. Uh, your your, your 1.2 million followers on Twitter followed you, um, I, I bet, because mm. you are an independent thinker. Yes, They yes, could trust yes. you to be the first with breaking news. Things that maybe mainstream media were slow to talk about, you would quickly rattle that off. Many wonder if that Robert Alai is still there <laughs> or if what we are looking at in front of us is a, is a changed one, a morphed one, a different one. I, th I think all my friends, very close friends, and you know, in, in a when, you, when you're in some professions, you have to keep a very small community as close friends. And these close friends know that I'm the same Robert Alai. Uh, when you do something wrong, I will not go and talk to somebody else about you. I'll tell you, and you know, we become friends. And some of them don't like my, when you start being my friend, you know, might not like me being forthright with you. But I tell you, that's, that's the way I keep my friends, because I want to check my friends to know that the only ones which I'm going to have close to me are going to be brutally honest with me, and that's how I'm going to have it. Uh, I, I, and you know, in blogging, we are not competing against the, the mainstream media. People think so. We can't replace them. We are not journalists. As a blogger, I'm covering, you know, I was trained in IT. I'm a computer scientist. I'm not going to do journalism. I'm going to do my work. In fact, I've not even monetized my blogging. I'm, I'm, I'm still an IT guy. I'm still running an <laughs> IT company. So, so this blogging, I'm just giving my opinion. And the unique thing is that my opinion is either very popular with some people and also unpopular with some. So, you know, it's 50-50 okay. for all the time. Both and, 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 and Sorry, go ahead. And, and when you're asking Ben Gidai if he's, you know, his regrets or, 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 or thoughts on losing some funds, what I can tell you is that whatever gains you have made in this life, somebody has lost. Whatever gains you have made, whether you've been made a pope, somebody has lost. Whether you've been made a pastor of a church today, somebody has lost. And you'll see even in our appointments <laughs> today, people are in court. You know, if somebody has been made a CEO of a company, there are people, a good number of people also think that you should not have been the CEO of the company. Okay. So that's life. Both of you have spent the last 25 minutes saying you deserve this award, you've done your service to your country, even though your critics say yours was service to a political party. Um, do you wish in any way now that you've seen how this process works, that the process was different? Do you wish, head of state commendation, you say that you had no idea do you wish that, for example, the names were put in the paper? And if what recommendation recommendations would you give? Uh, uh, because it seems that Kenyans are crying out that the process is not transparent. Some felt that a few individuals in state house sat down and drafted a list. Again, these are, this is a lot of social media talk. Yes, ben, yes, yes. I, how could this process have been made any different if you were asked now that you've gone through it? Well, uh, to me, uh, it was done uh, by, uh, by the discretion of the president. And uh, I'm not here to criticize the president. What I know is that uh, this was a political year and uh, things were hot. In everything that the president could do, there was a person there ready to criticize him. But uh, if the president will do the same as he did in 20. 19 or 2020, the, the fire you are seeing today, it would be normal. 
Be because uh, p politically, uh, things are cool. So uh, let the president go ahead in years to come. Those people he deserves, they, they, they have done the right thing to be honored. And it, it, in his discretion, let him continue and honor them. So I don't want to, to set a standard for him. OK. Yeah, I, I, I uh, Robert? I, th I think, Waiga, what we, what, what we need to understand is that the problem is not the president. The mm. problem is on our politics. Mm. Our politics is very polarizing. Our politics is either you are pro or against. You know, people don't agree to disagree. You know, you, 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 don't, you don't say that I'm Jubilee and you are NASA, but you can still sit on a table, eat lunch and talk and be friends. You know, we can still live in the same house as brother and sister or husband and wife, but we support different political formations. That's the most unfortunate thing. So even today, if you give whoever, one section of the country will be so much against it, but well another section doesn't, you know, supports the, the same person. So the only thing here, I think, is that we need to change our politics. We need also to make the citizens. We need to, to inform them, to tell them that politics is not war. It's, it's not, you know, it's not about uh, my gain is your loss. No, it's, 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 it's you understanding that only one person has to gain, one side has to gain. And this political formation we are supporting was a jubilee. The jubilee's win might be Kenyan's win. It does not mean that somebody in Kisumu has lost because jubilee has won. Uh, the president is still the president of the whole country. All the borders of this country is still under the president, uh, the same president. And he has given resources. You know, we have the, f uh, the county government. They still okay. get their locations from the, the same, same president who, was in, who is in jubilee. Okay. They get one allocation from one president. Okay, yes. uh, I think that's how we wrap up this discussion with Robert Ali striking a very conciliatory tone. Very different from uh, Robert I knew a couple of years ago. He <laughs> says he's still the same man, uh, but uh, we leave that discussion at that for now. Robert Ali, a blogger, thank you so much for finding time to be here with us. Ben Gidai, musician, uh, thank you so much to both of you uh, for joining us today. Let's hand you over to another blogger, part-time <laughs> or full-time. Uh, Robert says.